I want to welcome to this video which is going to discuss how to fix a problem you may have discovered when you downloaded the iOS 4.2 SDK. A problem that affects projects that you've created beforehand. Um, and the problem is shown right here. Basically um, this message right here. Base SDK missing. So you open up a project that you've had before you installed the new SDK and you open it up in the new SDK. Normally you would think, oh I can click on here and I can pick before there'd be like one of the SDKs that um, would be valid. You could pick it and straighten things out. Well, you can't as you can see here. When I first saw this, um, I was like freaking out because I'm like, do I have to redo my project um, so that it will recognize it? And I wasn't thrilled about that. And then I found in a book, which was actually on Cocos 3D, I mean 2D, um, not on Xcode, how to fix this problem. And I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. And you can fix it without having to redo the whole project. You can do it right from within Xcode. So <clears throat> let's see what can we do here. So what we want to do is whoop, get back to the full screen. You'll notice up here I've got the Xcode menu. right? And what you want to do is you want to pick project. And then the third entry from the bottom is Edit Product Project Settings. I don't know why I have a hard time saying project. Edit Project Settings. That's this one here. We're going to click it. And then this window here comes up. And you'll notice here the third line down under Architecture base SDK. Well, base SDK is missing. Now in the previous, uh, this, this project was developed under iOS 4.0, which we don't even have. So, but the nice thing is, we can click here, and you get a list of different possible SDKs. Obviously the Mac OS ones are not what we're interested in. We're interested in iOS. And what do we have here? iOS 4.2. So we just click it. Now you don't have to hit save. It automatically saves. <clears throat> the weird thing is though, I'll close the window here. You'll notice here that um, the base SDK missing is still there and the drop down menu is still the same. So when you change that on that um, project settings, it doesn't update these. But what you can do is just close it. And then what we can do is go to File or Xcode and Open Recent Project. And the um, latest project will be the one at the top here. I called it demo of problem. So you'll notice now that it says simulator 4.2. We can pick between um, the device, the simulator debug release, etc. So now we have a working project. You'll notice the items here that were in red are no longer in red. And you should be able to do a build. If it built without any errors before you installed the SDK, it should now build again with the new SDK 4.2, and that is the end of this video.